All right, we've got another hopefully quick and greasy one for you. So I'm going to show you how to revive a dead UPC or surge protector, battery backup surge protector. So what happens is these things go bad and they start screaming and they stop working and uh, people just take them to the dump. In fact, I intercepted this one right here uh, from someone in my office building who was taking it to the dump. So this, this applies to practically any model, but you know, just, just for your edification, this one is a Belkin um, 375VA. I don't think that's the exact model number, but there's all that down there. You can look it up, see if it applies to you. But what happens is 12 volt battery in here, which is what this thing is charging, it's, this is essentially like a GFCI um, solenoid hooked up to um, a 12 volt battery and it just charges the 12 volt battery. And as soon as it detects power interruption, it immediately shunts over to an inverter that pulls power from this battery. So what usually happens in these things is that the 12 volt battery that's actually being charged by the wall outlet, which is what powers the actual unit when you have a power outage, dies. And from this one, fairly good indication that this battery has failed because there's a bunch of white smuts on it and it seems to be a little bit bulged. Um, so yeah, I've just got the voltmeter here. I've got it set to 20 volts DC and we're just going to hook this up to the contacts and uh, see what kind of voltage this thing is putting out. And uh, according to my handy dandy voltmeter, it is putting out six one hundredths of a volt. It should be something like 12.5. So that's not a great sign. Yeah. Yeah, 70, 70 millivolts is, is uh, not good. Um, those are hooked directly to the battery contact. So, in this scenario, what you need to do is look at your battery right here. Find the size of your battery. Usually, this up here, I believe, is the actual grouping size of the battery. And look that up and just go on to Amazon or eBay or something and just find a battery that fits. Purchase it. Get it in the mail. Throw it in here. Plug it back in and it should be good to go. Um, and that's generally all you need to do. So I'm going to go get to hunting, order me up a replacement for this, and I should have a dirt cheap professional UPC surge protector battery backup. So usually you can get one of these batteries for less than 30 bucks, and then buying one of these actual surge protectors is usually close to about $100 uh, after tax and shipping and everything. So, you know, if you're in the market for one of these, just go buy an office building, or if you got a buddy who works someplace, um that uses surge protectors is just keep your eye out or eyes and ears out for anyone uh, throwing one of these things away. You can get them for free from folks that don't know, you know, how to fix them. You just throw a battery in them for 20, 30 bucks and you're good to go. And then list it on Facebook marketplace and sell it for 50 bucks. And you are, you're making a profit $20 at a time. It only took you like an hour worth of work. So it wasn't worth it, but still at the very least you can just get a new one for your house. This one's actually going to go, I have a place for it, but it's going to go somewhere in my house. So mark my words. All right. So we picked up this sucker off of Amazon for just a skosh under $20. So I've used Mighty Max for several other things before, and I haven't had any issues with them thus far. So should work fine for this sucker. But um, voltmeter's telling me it's got 13 volts in it. So she's plumb full. Let's stick her in the UPC, plug her in the wall, and see whether it screams and works or if it screams and doesn't work. Well, all right, there she is installed. Let's see whether this thing catches fire. I don't see any factory smoke yet, so that's a good sign. And does it scream? I heard a click. Or another click. <phone rings> Doing something. We got lights. I think it might be good. Let's uh, let's plug some junk into it and see whether or not it blows up. All right, so I've got this drill sharpener because it was right there and it was the closest thing I could get. I'm lazy and it's horribly loud and sounds like a blender, but um, see if it works or not. Well, battery backup's working, so that's exciting. 
and it's doing things. So it may just work. If we plug this over to surge protection only. All right, we seem to have a battery backup. All right. Well, it looks like all of our outlets work and uh, she's doing battery backup things. So I'm just gonna let this thing charge for uh, you know a couple hours and uh, just make sure everything's fine and uh, we should be golden. All right, so I've let this thing charge up for a whole five minutes and it's probably fine, I hadn't caught fire yet. So we're just gonna call the video there because I wanna go inside and drink some hard cider somebody gave me. But anywho, I digress. If this video helped you out, uh, consider going down there, liking the video. Uh, comment and tell me if you, what's the weirdest thing you've run into fixing them? Surge protector. Mine have just been dead batteries so far, which has been great because I've gotten a lot of free surge protectors or battery backups, I should say, out of this. And uh, if you want to see more uh, helpful how-tos and other inane, greasy garbage like this, you got to subscribe. So smash the big gray button down there. And until next time, pop out.